Hey guys, it's Lego Maestro here, and welcome back to another episode of Hypixel News. I hope you guys have been enjoying the content recently, and I've got another upload coming out tomorrow. But before we get into this one, I wanted to note, here is the winner of the last Lego Brick giveaway, and that will be given out soon, so if you want a chance to win one of these personalized Lego Bricks, that info is in the description. And of course, before we start the video, if you do end up enjoying this, and you want to stay up to date on everything going on in the Hypixel network, then I would really appreciate it if you would consider subscribing. And with that, let's get into the news. Now, our first the story of the evening is coming from a Skyblock YouTuber known as Dragoon, and this week, it looked like he potentially quit the game. He made a video titled, Skyblock is Doomed. Now, the video is just another one of Dragoon's videos where you really have no idea what to expect. That's kind of his thing. But anyway, in the video, nothing is serious as usual, including the description. But the thumbnail of the video says quitting with a period, and it's very straightforward. It does not look like his normal thumbnail style. So... This one seems serious for a change. And of course, after all the recent Hypixel Skyblock YouTubers leaving the community, I had to see if he was really quitting the game. So of course, you guys know me, I had to get to the bottom of this. So I messaged him about his video, and this is what he said. He said, regarding my newest video, it started out as a joke, complaining about stupid things in Skyblock that didn't matter. I'm planning on making a follow-up about how I'm not quitting, but trying to collect clips of people having fun in Skyblock is proving difficult and making me wonder if I will actually quit. I'm likely going to show how it isn't sad when people leave Skyblock. It gives them opportunities to make great things. So it looks like it's up in the air whether or not he's actually quitting, but at least we know for a fact that he's not quitting at this very moment, which is what it looked like from that thumbnail. Now guys, before we get into our biggest story, we actually have one left to cover, and it in and of itself is another huge one, coming from the number one Bedwars player on every single leaderboard, Manhall IQ, who just so happens to be a YouTuber as well. Now there is an exception, because he just recently became number two on one of his spots, but the point is, a few days ago, he was not on the leaderboards, and he was accused of cheating and boosting. Here is a screenshot of the leaderboards taken a few days ago, and as you can see, he is not on any of them. And in contrast, here is where he was on the leaderboards the day before. Now, when I checked, he had YouTube rank, so the only explanation I could think of is that he got banned or had a Bedwars wipe. So, of course, I went to Twitter and tweeted out about this. I said, did Manhall just get wiped with a screenshot of the leaderboards? Now, when all this was going down, Manhall was actually asleep, but when he woke up, he responded with this. He said, no, Lego. It was just some moderator who wanted to flex on his girlfriend. He was like, look, I have all the permissions. I can literally just ban this YouTuber who's number one on Bedwars, see? And he banned on me to flex on her, but then got unbanned by somebody else. And also, the flex part was a joke. So he's basically saying that some moderator did it just to flex or for some reason banned him. Now that day, Manhall made a video which is actually unlisted at the moment, titled, Manhall Cheats and Boosts. Now, he unlisted the video yesterday because the day before when I actually made this script, it was just a public video, so I have no clue why it's now unlisted. Now, that being said, in the video, he says he woke up to a bunch of messages about what happened, and when he logged on Hypixel, he saw that he wasn't banned. Now, explaining what happened in the video, Manhall said this. So, basically, what happened, apparently, I don't, I'm not sure if it was just a bug or I have a strong feeling that it was a moderator who banned me and also got unbanned like few seconds after because it was a false ban. I don't know why that happened, but it happened. Usually when YouTubers or someone get ba gets banned um, from the leaderboards, like they just get removed from the leaderboards, usually they get, um, what's it called? I get stats wiped and I didn't I didn't my YouTube rank wasn't removed. Um I didn't get stats wiped at all. Um I don't know what the heck happened. False banned and then I was unbanned literally a few seconds after. So he says he was banned and then unbanned a few seconds after. So I messaged him saying, So you say in the video you were banned and unbanned, and you think that that's by a mod. So why do you think you got banned if you never saw a banned message? And he replied saying, Because I couldn't see the channels on the Hypixel Discord until I logged in. I responded saying, hmm. Wouldn't that suggest you had your rank removed rather than the fact that you were banned? And he said, no idea. Now, I have a screenshot here that I'm allowed to share from a moderator on Hypixel, and for privacy reasons, I have blurred their profile picture and name. And Manhall messaged this moderator asking what happened, and the mod responded saying, don't worry about it, it was just a mistake. So, it's unclear what really happened here. No one knows whether or not a mod was actually involved, or if it was a bug, or if he was even banned or lost YouTube rank in the first place. There is just so much that we don't know. 
Now, I personally messaged this mod about the situation asking for more details, and he said, quote, that info is not up for discussion. And I imagine we are not going to get much more info on that, as you can see, if the moderator doesn't want to give any more info, I have no doubt an admin is probably going to be the same way. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to get into our biggest story of the week, which is really weird to say it's coming from my channel, because just a couple of days ago, I got a custom rank on Hypixel. I was doing a casual live stream titled a Private Hypixel Games slash Party Join Lego Maestro, which if you ever see these in your sub box, you should definitely join. And shortly into the live stream, Hypixel decided to join. And this happened. I don't understand. Hypixel really likes to put more people in the party than they need. I think the system just literally isn't made for it. And it says, okay, we've capped it at this amount. But wait, what? He says, I sent you $300 worth of gold to do rank gifting for your streams. And you got 30 minutes. Oh, I got 30 minutes? What? Okay, well, uh, shoot! Now, after this, I gave out what was actually about $600 worth of ranks. Simon just gave me too much gold, and that was an accident on his part, but he did say I was allowed to spend it. Now, after giving out ranks for 40 minutes, I sang Simon a song about wanting a custom rank in front of the live stream. And there's a point in me telling you this, because afterwards, as you guys already know, I actually got a custom rank. I'm sorry if I messed up a bit. I was a little nervous. I mean, it literally Hypixel's watching the stream, folks. Can you blame me? Can you really blame me for being nervous? Oh my goodness. No reporter rank, folks. Cringe rank? Wait, did I just get a custom rank? <laughs> I just got... <laughs> Oh. So there you have it guys, that was my short-lived fame, and after this I tweeted out, saying for 10 seconds, I was the most powerful man on Hypixel. Thank you, Simon. Showing a screenshot of Tab with me in the top left with my new cringe rank. And just to make things even better, Simon actually likes this tweet. Now, if you guys want to see the video that I sang to Simon, I'll actually be uploading my first, second channel video about the live stream and rank soon, so the link to my gameplay channel is in the description, so stay tuned for that. And that is gonna do it for that story, but Simon, if you're watching this, thank you very much. And of course, you know, if you're looking for a more permanent custom rank, I'm always welcome to that as well. And now for our next story, this one is another huge one, coming from the number one player on the achievement leaderboards, Henri, and... They got banned this week. Here's a screenshot he posted showing he was banned for 30 days for cheating through the use of unfair game advantages. Now that was what was submitted in my Discord, but of course I had to get more info on the situation, so I messaged him about more info on his ban, and he said this. Well, the next day before I got banned, I was streaming myself getting all quests in a day. The next day I woke up to finish the quests before they got reset, I wasn't able to finish them. So I finished the stream and went AFK. Then my internet gets turned off for about one and a half hours, and I came back to a ban for cheating. No idea why. And I responded pretty bluntly asking, well, were you cheating? And he responded saying, nope, never gave my account to anyone since I got unbanned last time in May. Hopefully I'll be able to get unbanned. I haven't appealed yet. So of course we'll just have to wait and see what happens with this story. And for our next one, two top Skyblock Catacombs guilds were actually disbanded this week by hackers. The two guilds that got disbanded this week were Senzu and Skyblock Gods. And here are some images you can see of both of them getting disbanded. Now Agent Lai, who is a small YouTuber, actually owned one of the guilds who was hacked, and he made both a video and a forum post on it. In his video, it titled, My Account Was Hacked, he says that what happened to him was very similar what happened to the Senzu Guild, which is the other guild that got disbanded, and he says that not only were the way that these two guilds were disbanded similar, he said he would go as far as to say they were done by the same person. And in the forum post he made, titled, So I Got Hacked, he says that he lost 3.5 billion coins, his guild and profile also got disbanded. It's very, very sad stuff, as you guys can see. Now, although I would 100% advise the higher-up Skyblock players and guild owners to make sure their accounts are more secure, a player did make a forum post about Agent Lai. The forum post was titled, I found out how Agent Lai got hacked, you are safe. Saying Agent Lai was hacked with a Skyblock mod, you are safe. This is how he got hacked instead. Agent Lai was using an unactivated version of Windows, so one of his old guildmates sent him a file to activate it for him, but actually, this is a rat. I decompiled it and found this. This is the part of the code that took his session ID, and this is the part of the code that sent the ID to the hacker's Discord. So once again, although I would secure your accounts, it appears that this wasn't a typical hacking situation. And finally, to end off our news this week, to mark the end of 2020, Hypixel has given us access to the annual command, which shows your statistics for the year. Now, the command for this year is slash my2020, and there was a forum post made about it. The forum post basically states you can generate your unique stats on Hypixel using the command, and of course, I do recommend that you hop onto the server and try 
try the command out for yourself. Although if you spend a lot of time on the server like myself, you might not want to see those results. But of course, that is up to you. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it for the news this week. I hope you've enjoyed it. Of course, if you do want to continue to stay up to date on everything going on in the Hypixel network, then I would appreciate it if you would consider subscribing. If you have any news to submit, my Discord is in the description. Guys, have a truly blessed day. And with this, Hypixel News now over 127,000 subscribers. And I will see you next time.